If you guys haven't seen my part 1 video on Remain Selfless since 2 months ago, I strongly recommend you to check it out by clicking the video link in description. However, I will have to make this video brief because this video's deadline was due on November 30th, which is today, so please bear with me. This is my final video on this guy, so let's begin. Hello, and before we get to the dumb question, but don't worry, it's a fun one. I would like to say that I managed to re-upload 5 of Brandon's videos. I know, I watched them. There were a few videos missing. What one specifically? Please list them as you go along. There's one video that he made about when Bloodlord EX screaming. Oh yeah, the video I was talking about before, I was referring to Brandon's video about when Vakana Chaos told him to kill himself. That all happened back in last year in October, but I'm going off topic here, so let's just read the rest of the DMs. I don't remember that video, and I don't have that back up on my computer. I do severely apologize, but don't fret, I also uploaded videos on my web archive account. Yes, including that deleted Miss Amphropony apology video, but we'll discuss that for another day. But don't worry, we'll discuss that video very soon, once we're done with this DMs. That video. Oh yeah, that video was copyrighted. You know, it's amazing. You are 100% wrong. I mean, nothing you've said has been right. No, Anonymous. I was not talking about the video that was copyright claimed. I was talking about the video that was removed, and the title was Chaotic Falcon slash Falconic Chaos slash Bloodlord EX Archive. Vaconic Chaos Tells Me To Kill Myself video. Brandon uploaded a video several months ago back in January, and his screenshots and DMs happened since last year in October, and that video was once removed because Vaconic himself was abusing the copyright system towards Brandon Waters videos, and his videos and his channel was removed until a month later in February this year, when his channel and his videos were finally restored because those claims were completely false. I mentioned this before in my video on Valconic. If you want, I will provide the video link in description, but let's just continue. But anyways, let's get to the dumbest question, but a fun one you ever see. Okay, lay it on me. Okay, you ready for this? I'm ready. Remember how I gave you thanks for providing partial footage of those bottom of the barrel videos in the description? And that you told this Steven Uni God 47 guy that Big Bad Productions deleted those videos? I say private them to be frank because you wouldn't go as far as to dox people and told them that there were, will be no video link? I wouldn't that's the reason. It was because she didn't want anyone who is in Miss Aproponi's bad side to twist certain things out of situations. Okay, for any of you who doesn't know what the hell he was talking about, he was talking about that person who commented on my video on Robert Hayden last year in November, if I remember correctly, and I told this Steven Uni God Force 7 guy that there'll be no video link because, well, obviously, the beginning of that video in particular, they basically tell each other their personal home address, which I refuse to show it in my video because that's why I cut the beginning part of the video. And that's the main reason why I cut the beginning part out. Because doxing is against the law. I thought it was already established. I thought it was already established. And finally, here's the most stupidest question of all. Are you ready for this? Ready. 
Oh, and major spoilers, he was asking me if I have these Robert the Locale videos. Did you back those videos up yet, either in your old laptop or the new one? I can actually remember owning those videos before deleting them out of curiosity, and I can also remember the second part more when it involves about Miss Afropony coming to the server just to partially correct Robert on things. Oh, and about how hilarious Lyle Convoy was by spewing insults at him hilariously. The best part of the video and angrily insulting Robert to point one of his private parts on the table and bang it with a hammer, which oof, that's gonna hurt. But I don't support him telling Robert to off himself, but then again, if it's his personal value, that's his choice. But I, that wouldn't be nice in my opinion since suicide isn't a joke and it really isn't my type of thing. I'll just leave out of this. I like Lyle Convoy, he talks down to vicious predators and more importantly on Falconic Chaos. That's a good question, only one of them. And that's bottom of the barrel Robert the Locale using my old laptop. The channel used to have 4 videos, but I was only able to back up one of them use my Share Factory app on my PS4 Pro. For those of you who are curious, Share Factory is a app where that basically helps you to edit gameplay clips and make videos on YouTube basically. And you don't have to pay for that app, it's completely free to download on the PlayStation app. I should know, I've been using this app since roughly two years back in 2020, if I remember correctly. You're a fucking idiot! I should really correct myself. I first started using Share Factory since 2019 back in August 15th, that was three years ago not two years ago. My first ever video that I made using Share Factory was the video test one. So I'm sorry for the inconvenience, so let's just continue. It's decent for those who are still on a budget trying to make YouTube videos, or Share Factory Studio if you have a PS5. But let's go on. Alright, you have, but you haven't the second part apparently? I'm just curious to know about it, that's all. There is few flaws about Share Factory. I cannot back up videos that are more than one hour long, so I can only able to back up videos that were less than an hour long. Well, technically, bottom of the barrel Robert the Locale is 44 minutes, right? And bottom of the barrel Robert the Locale Returns is 55 minutes. Funny that to consider that the second part was only 5 minutes short from an hour. Again, I'm not trying to argue, I'm just giving you an idea. I know you're not trying to argue, so don't sweat about it. And I know some of you were thinking, Blue X, this interaction wasn't so bad, so what could possibly go wrong? Unfortunately, I wish the DMs were in there, but he was asking me again for those two Robert the Locale videos. Alright, I'm going to ask you and re reiterate. I'm sorry I mispronounced that word. Do you have bottom of the barrel Robert the Locale and bottom of the barrel Robert the Locale Returns back up in your files by PS4 Pro and laptop? Okay, Anonymous, do you not remember what I said to you 10 minutes ago? And I told you only one of them, and that's bottom of the barrel, Robert the Locale, using my old laptop. I did not back up the second video, which is bottom of the barrel, Robert the Locale returns. I did not back up that video. Like, do you hear yourself talk? But I'm going ahead of myself, let's just continue. 
Sadly, I don't have the video anymore because I had to delete it in order to make room for my PS4 Pro storage. I wish I have more USB drives so I can copy more videos I back up, but I only have one. There is actually a good reason for that. Well, actually, two reasons. But more about that later. Alright. That's really sad because I wanted to see Lyo getting triggered by Robert's stupidity again. But anyways, where can I download the video if there is a chance? There is such website that you can import YouTube videos into MP4 for your Share Factory app. That's cool! But I don't have a PlayStation, sorry. Which, I did provide him a link of that specific website in particular that I did mention earlier in this video. However, he's still asking those files yet again. I can see that, but the link for the bottom of the barrel video was currently privatized. You said you have the files for the video, right? So, you should have it in there by any chance. Blue X? I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Oh my god, do we have to go through this yet again? Do I have to repeat myself? But then I told him this. I just told you why I don't have the video anymore. The reason how I was able to convert that video because that video was public at the time, way before they privatized all four videos. Sorry, I'm still here. No, it's alright. I completely misunderstood about all this. Sorry for being weird too. It's okay, man. Well, I guess I better go back making more videos. However, it's going to take a while, so I'll see you next time. And I thought the conversation would just end there, right? That is until two months later in March when he confessed everything in our private DMs, basically saying that he lied to Obscure Titan for the fact that Lyle was evil, that's some internet cringe but whatever, and he's also sided with Jax, but I can go on and on, but you can read the title screen yourself, and you can see the messages. One thing I will have to point out is the part when he said he tried to impersonate Falconic Chaos. That is utter bullshit, and I can prove it in this video right here. I will provide you two clips today, Junior! Clips, for example. One for Cosmic made for Anonymous, and the video that Falconic made towards me. So, you can see the comparisons. Because I didn't know any better. Because I've been going on about like all since months. There's also another user by the name of Blue X Hand Spirit Productions who has constantly been going at this girl for the past three years, all because of a personal grudge that he had over something that apparently happened over PlayStation or something. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god, stop fucking lying! Do you see the comparisons now? There's no way in hell that Anonymous was able to impersonate Falconic Chaos because though their voices are not compatible with each other. I should know. I provide video footage of both not only Anonymous, but also the voices of Falconic Chaos. And I know what you're thinking, but Blue X, it is possible to fake DMs before, right? Falconic demonstrated himself when he tried to impersonate both Emperor Cybot and MTS. Normally that would be the case, but even so, how can you impersonate someone if there is actual video footage of Falconic telling someone else to commit Sudoku apparently? You just can't! No one gives a shit, just get off the internet and go fucking kill yourself. You're nothing but a worthless piece of shit that nobody wants to care about, no one fucking cares. 
Go fucking kill yourself. Go kill yourself right now. Go fucking, go fucking end it. Alright. Go fucking end it. Go fucking kill yourself. So, take this apology message as a grain of salt. In case you haven't heard the anime arc by now, Miss Samproponi made an apology video towards both Cartoon She and Blair TV, which both of them want nothing to do nor associate with him whatsoever. Cartoon She already covered Miss Samproponi before, so I will provide the video link in the description as well. So, after he uploaded that video, Lyle Convoy caught him in the ad, as you already tell Lyle's livestream response that he made by now. If you haven't seen that, I will also provide the video link in the description of that video as well. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of links and descriptions, holy shit. And after that, he re-uploaded the apology video despite Lyle's warnings. Yeah, the video was removed again, so we thought to ourselves, hey, that apology video was gone for good, both Cartoon She and Blair TV want nothing to do with him whatsoever, I've, all is well and good, right? But knowing remains selfless, he re-uploaded Ms. Zaproponi's apology video. What? What the fuck? Yes! You heard that correctly. Before his social media was gone for good, he re-uploaded onto his channel Miss Sampro Pony's apology video on both Cartoon She and Blair TV. I'm not making this up. Now imagine the scenario when both Cartoon She and Blair TV found out the fact that Anonymous re-uploaded Map's apology video, that it will be a massive bloodbath. And that's the only brief moment I will have to give you because it's almost going to be 9 p.m. So I better wrap this video up. So in conclusion, Anonymous is a attention-seeking brat. He is very obsessed trying to ask random content creators for these Robert the Locale videos, even the ones that have nothing to do with the Robert Hayden saga. And he is very toxic towards Sacred Skyheart for trying to have a hate bandwagon towards not only Queen Seraphina, but also Lyle Convoy. He is also re-uploading the real Thomas's videos without his permission, as well as re-uploading Miss Afropony's apology video, basically. And remain selfless. If you still have your own platform on the internet, if you're watching this right now, stop asking random people for the Robert the Locale videos. It's already been done and there is a good reason why. Because it will be considered doxing if you try to re-upload them uncensored. I thought it was already established. So yeah, that's pretty much it with the anonymous slash remain selfless. Thank fucking god I never get this video done in time. I would like to give a shout out to Zowden Wolfgang for providing a link to the video that Cosmic made when his interaction with Remain Selfless. And I also give a shout out to, let's see here, Sacred Skyheart for providing the screenshots on Twitter for helping me for the part 1 video on Remain Selfless. 
So, yeah, I guess that'll be enough for tonight. If you enjoyed this video, if you do, give a like, subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification bells for my future videos. I make Let's Play content more often, that much is obvious, and sometimes I put commentaries and memes here and there, but I make Let's Plays the most part for my main channel. Please, please check out my Twitter and my Twitter. You said that already! I pretty much appreciate it. Man, this is awkward. awkward. So, yeah, that's all fam. Take care.